I received numerous emails and messages on how to install Native Depth of Field by KNG, or King as he's known on the Nexus. Let's get started on that, shall we? It's very straightforward and fairly easy to do. I recommend that you download Notepad++, I'll leave a link in the video, to make this experience much easier for yourself. First off, we're going to manually download this mod to our computer, then you quickly find the zip file or WinWare, or whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to open your Witcher directory, bin config, our games for user config, matrix, input, XML with Notepad++. I mean, well, no, sorry, you just open that. And then you click and drag in DOF is what it'll be called. And the next step, we're going to run over to the DLC part. And we're going to click and drag the folder to the DLC folder. I can't really see it because it's so tiny right here. Forgive me, I'm doing a voiceover. Then we go to mods and we drop in the folder that is ready for the mod folder, KNG or whatever, I believe. Now, here's where things get a little bit tougher. Now, this is probably where people are getting thrown off. Now, I have the instructions up to make life easier for you and me both because I can't remember this verbatim. Now, next up, we're going to go to our Witcher directory, bin config, our games for user, matrix, PC, input XML. And then we're going to open that with Notepad++. And we're going to add the line VAR builder equals input ID panel K and G depth of field. Display name, blah, blah, blah. It's fairly simple. Now, the mod author even goes as far as helping you out by giving you a screenshot folder. Now, this will give you an idea of where you want to copy and paste this text margin right here. Now, you're going to see for me and the example given, you'll find it at 04 to 05. As you can see already, I've already input it in my XML file. Simple copy and paste. Not really rocket science, nothing too tough. Now, next up, we're going to have to go to uh, your documents. Open the Witcher 3 in Input Settings folder. Remember, Notepad++ is your friend. Now, when you do this, you're going to want to look for Exploration Input Context. The mod author says any input context section will do, but we'll do it under Exploration Context. And then you add the line IKF2 equals Action Reload KNG DOF. The mod author also adds an example fake photo that I totally forgot to show you. But you get where I'm at with this. Now the beauty of Notepad++ is the fact that if you're not 100% sure where anything is, you simply click the search and find button, copy and paste in the area I have just shown you, and it'll immediately lead you to what you're looking for. In my case, I was just making sure where the King's staff of field is. Later on, I will... But for you, you're going to want to do exploration first. To make sure that there's no sort of mistakes made anywhere. You want to be in that sweet spot of understanding what the hell's going on actually. Now once you've done all of these things that after I guess I've explained it seems very very simple to be honest. But it may throw some people for a loop because Notepad++ isn't exactly something people know to use every day. Most people just use normal Notepad but I prefer Notepad++. Now once you finish these easy steps you simply just load up your Witcher and it's good to go honestly. Now, for me personally, like, I usually pick mods that I can use. And what I mean by that is I pick mods that I can work, make work. Now, there's a lot of mods I want to test out, but sometimes I have conflicts or script merger doesn't really work for me. And I'm not quite sure as to what the hell I did wrong. So usually I display things that work. So if you see me using a mod and you're not quite sure how to get it working, trust me. If you try hard enough... It'll work for you. Believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm, I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not jerking you around. I'm not lying to you. I'm a pretty simple dude. Well, hopefully this has helped someone out there. Uh, maybe I'll have to do this again where I do it step by step instead of doing it and then adding a voiceover because I want to make sure it worked before I made the video and I didn't feel anyone wanted to sit there and listen to the silence of me clicking a mouse repeatedly. I, this would be quicker. Well, anyway, I'm going to go now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, as always, for tuning into my channel. Never forget to endorse mods you like. Uh, if you feel like giving the mod author a donation, go right ahead and do that, too. Whether it's 25 cents or a dollar, whatever the hell you can spare, sir. Uh, God bless America.
but only the good Americans, like the liberals. I'm not really into the conservatives. Yeah, I said it. I'm liberal. I'm free. I want America to be like Holland. All right? Pot's legal and so's hookers. Now that's freedom, man. Okay. I'm stopping now. Good day.